Right, welcome to this episode of the Toffee Blues Opposition View. Monday night sees an informed Newcastle United look to make it five wins on the bounce as they come to Goodison Park. I sat down and talked to Alex Hurst of True Faith Podcast to talk about Newcastle this season under Rafa Benitez, Everton this season under Sam Allardyce and how he expects Monday night's game to go. We're now joined by Alex of the Truth Face podcast, which is a new Newcastle podcast. And um, Alex, I was listening to your last um, your last um, podcast episode that you released, which is the reaction to the two one win against Arsenal. And at Newcastle at the minute, it really seemed like the fans are ecstatic with Rafa Benitez. Um, can you just go into how much of an impact he's had over these last two years at Newcastle? Yeah, it's incredible, really. I, I can't really. Um, underestimate the impact he's made on the football club in the city in the region um, you know from taking over a team which was bound for relegation which was despised by the majority of the fans people despised the owner the manager the players it was just a really unhappy situation and I mean to give you an example of how good things are at the minute um, the Chelsea game went on sale yesterday tickets sold out in about 16 hours and they're not cheap either um, mm. probably too expensive that's another story but uh yeah, it's just uh, he's just brought a city together, and it's it's the first time in my adult life, and I'm in my late twenties, yeah. that there's been a positive vibe around the club, and it's just it's just a great time to be a Newcastle fan. And you know what, we're only tenth; it's hardly winning the league, is it? But yeah, um, yeah it's uh, it's it's certainly been an impact to me. He must stay next season. That's that's what's what everyone's lips at the minute. Will he stay next year? Yeah, and I know he's recently come out and said that he's looking to extend his contract, and he's wishing to you know discuss the future with Mike Ashley and the owners and seeing what's going to happen there. But with with Everton, really at the moment, it's the complete it's a complete flip of the switch. Um, I think that the fans really despise Allardyce at the minute, as you've probably gathered from the release of this survey that recently came out. But um, Obviously, Sam Allardyce. He, he, he was. Am I correct in thinking he only managed Newcastle for one season as well? Yeah, about what was he? He was there from what August, July, August to January. So not even a full season. Not even a full season. So similar to Everton, really. I'm just gonna just gonna ask your thoughts on Everton this season, and if as a, as a as a fan of a, of a club who's already been managed by Allardyce, if you expected this when he came in. Yes, we did fully expect it, um, and you've already seen stage one. Of, uh, he's actually brought stage one forwards of the Sam Allardyce sacked mm. wasn't my fault job with the misinformation he puts out and his mates put out you know in, in a year or two's time when he's after his next big payday he'll be talking about Everton we're bottom of the league and anything bad that happens at Everton after he goes will be the fault of whoever didn't keep him on yeah. he was an absolute disaster at Newcastle he was sacked with Newcastle 16th in the league heading towards a relegation battle with, and he'd spent a lot of money as he has done at Everton yeah. Um, so I think Castle fans are, are pretty wise to the likes of, of Pardew uh, and Allardyce. We were at West Brom the day before Pardew was announced as manager when we were singing, you're getting Pardewed in the morning mm-hmm. and look what happens. And it's the same. I think only Castle fans knew that Everton was too big a club yeah. uh, for Sam Allardyce. He cannot manage clubs where avoiding relegation is you know is, is not a massive bonus. If the club has any higher ambition, it's not for him. And there are loads of managers like that, but there are... There are not loads of managers who pretend that isn't the case, and um, yeah, yeah it's, I, I, don't, I don't really have anything against Everton as a football club. The only beef with Everton is to have a fantastic record against Newcastle mm. in recent years, but there's sort of plenty of teams. But um, I, it, it is good to see him struggling. I'll, I'm not lying. Yeah, well, for, for Newcastle this season, I mean, I was. Do you have the barren start to the season, if I can remember correctly? I think you didn't start the season very well at all, pretty similar to Everton. And as Everton kind of stayed around the the bottom half of the table, Newcastle, I think it was around October, really pushed on and got some really big results. And now as a turnaround, a consequence of that turnaround of form, you know, you a point behind us with the game in hand coming into this game on Monday do you feel like that's enough motivation for your lads to push on and to get the job done oh yeah definitely I mean the four wins in a row uh, in 2018 we've only lost to Liverpool away and Man City away which you know everyone loses those games yeah. um, in a minute um, every, any other team we've faced and we've, we've, we've played some good teams in that period we've, we've either betted or, or got away with a draw um, so yeah I mean I'm going down for the game. I'll be there on Monday. Obviously, yeah. this is a fixture which um, was was moved at disgracefully short notice for reasons we all know yeah. about. So I'm not sure how many many Castle fans will, will make it because it was it was so loud before um, it got moved. But the club have refunded anyone who can't make it, and they're looking to refund 
train and accommodation expenses, which is good. Oh, it's it's a good thing to say about Newcastle United. Yeah. But there you go, that, that is a good move. But yeah. um, it's still still rubbish for the people who can't make it, who have had to take time off work. But yeah. you're going to see an ultra-confident Newcastle team. And what gives me a lot of hope is Leicester we went there two weeks ago and we played them off the pitch. And it, sh- it should have been more than 2-1. Leicester pulled one back with about two minutes to go. But, you know, Everton have got some really good players. I know, I know Everton got some injuries as well, but... You know, it's going to be a tough game, but um, a lot of Newcastle fans expect to get something out of this, yeah. um, particularly with, with Allardyce under the pressure he's under. It would be great to twist the knife on him. Yeah, and uh, after the, the January window that you had, particularly you now bringing in Debraska, Kennedy, and I know you brought Slimani on, who hasn't exactly started, he hasn't started every game, has he? But he's made a positive impact when he came off the bench. So, is, is there any particular players you think are going to cause havoc for Everton? Yeah, definitely. Well, um, Slimani will probably start judging by Rafa's press conference today, so we'll see him for the first time. be interesting to see him go against Ashley Williams because he, he really relishes um, Slomani, the big physical battles. He's a big lad. And then Kennedy and John Joe Shelby are the two players who've just been in unbelievable form. There's a huge clamour to get Shelby in this England squad and he's turned his season around magnificently. He's tackling, he's all over the pitch, he's fit, he's disciplined. And with his range of passing, with players like Kennedy, Matt Ritchie, I was at Perez, who's in great form. Yeah. He's really pulling the strings in midfield. So I don't know who's going to play midfield for Everton. I don't know if it's whether Adrisa Gay is going to be fit, but you'd imagine yeah. Allardyce will have told him or whoever it is to, to do a job on Shelby because yeah. he's running right at the minute. And also Kennedy, the Brazilian, is just, I mean, I hate saying it, but he's probably too good to play for yeah. Newcastle. Yeah. Um, he's a top four player. I, I don't really know why he hasn't had more of a chance at Chelsea because he's just a cut above anyone else in that in that squad. He, he, he's tend to have done it at home rather than away from home, so that might play in Everton's hands, but yeah. uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, so um, and I think particularly, uh, uh, of course, listening to your last podcast, I think the atmosphere really helped Kennedy when he's been at home. Oh, yeah, definitely. He's talked about He's just in an interview with the Daily Mail there yesterday where he's massively talked up um, the atmosphere in the crowd and how it reminds him of Brazil. Yeah. He didn't get that at Chelsea doing Stamford Bridge. Um, no. So, <laughs> no, no. For him. I was going to say, I feel, I feel like Everton have been in that position similarly with Romelu Lukaku. I know I, I've... I'm not going to say deluded because the, you know Everton really the progress of the side when Lukaku was in there, but we really understand the feeling because we all kind of knew that Romelu Lukaku was too good for Everton at the, uh, when it was all said and done, really, and we, we've seen now. I think it's his record number of goals he's bagged in a Premier League season. Um, but just, just back to the game on Monday, can I get a score prediction from you? Do you think you're coming in with with confidence for this game? And obviously I was reading, you know, Iosi Perez has bagged in his last three, if, that, if that's right. So, yeah. do you feel like you're going to come out with a win here? Yeah, I'll, I'll say 3-1 in Newcastle. Just, you know, it's been so rare that Newcastle have won. I mean, it's the first time in five, four or five years we've won four in the bounce in the Premier League. So, if I can't be confident now, when could I be? So, I'll say yeah. 3-1 Newcastle. All right, right. Cheers, Alex and me. Thanks for coming on. No worries. Cheers. So, that's all for this week. It was great to talk to Alex to hear what his thoughts have been on Newcastle under Rafa this season, as well as his thoughts on Sam Allardyce and how Everton have got on. Um of course, if you're liking the videos, make sure to like, comment, how do you think the game's going to go, and subscribe as well.